Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Car Loop, Australian EV data and ownership trends, Cobra Car Insurance, Paper Kilometer, Warbox, EV charging solutions, and EV, hire electric vehicles from real owners. Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be going through the BYD app uh, for my new BYD seal. Now, just a quick note that in Australia, when you buy a BYD, it takes about five days to activate the data as well as the app. Okay, it's probably easiest if I have the iPhone on a music stand. Um, okay, so let's go back to the very beginning of the app. So there you go, BYD seal. Uh, last updated 7th of January, which is today at 10.16, five minutes ago. And you can always pull down like that to refresh the data. There you go, 10.21 a.m. So refreshed to the minute. And then you can look at the odometer uh, at the profile area uh, with the VIN. And then under vehicle manager, again, you can name your car. I should think of something more creative than that. And from there, you can put your license plate number two. So um, I'll do that later on. Okay, so now down here to account and security, you can change your login password um, and deregister your account if you want to, and also log out as well. Um, under settings, got receive messages from BYD. So these are the notification um, options. So notification start charging, notification stop charging, and notification of doors, rear trunk left open. Um, now this happens all the time, I've got to say, when I have the door open and stuff. So. Uh, it'd be nice if the app included like an offset, so maybe like after five minutes or ten minutes or whatever, that'd be good. Some feedback for BYD. Um, notification of execution result of scheduled AC turn on. Okay, so uh, where turning on AC is scheduled, give notification whether the AC is turned on successfully. I suppose that's useful. If you scheduled your air conditioning to turn on at a later time, which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, timed AC turn off reminder. So where turning on AC is scheduled, give notification of automatic power off when the AC is turned off. So I guess when the AC is turned off, if you've scheduled that, it'll give you a notification as well. Um, okay, so auto login, yep, uh, that's useful. I don't have to keep logging in each time because it's my phone, although if you don't feel secure about that, you can have just biometric login like that. Alert sounds on and off, and then client service option. Okay, then about us, terms and conditions. Yep, can read through that. Uh, privacy statement, yep, same with that one. Uh, comments and feedback. Okay, so for comments and feedback, call that number or email that in case anybody wants to talk to BYD. And then check for new version, already upgraded to the latest version. Good to know. All right, let's go through the fun stuff. Uh, and that is uh, the commands for the car. So you've got battery state of charge. There's my vehicle right there. Now my car is currently unlocked, so let's test this out. Let's press lock. So first time you need to enter the uh, password each time. Okay, you heard that and the mirrors are folded in. So let's press unlock now. Okay, so that's unlocked and you can see uh, you only need to put the password in for the first time for the app. And then you can flash the light. So let's press that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 15. So 15 flashes of the light uh, if you press the flash. And of course you can honk as well. So quick honk, two honks, three honks, four honks, five, five honks. And I think probably the same number of flashes, 15 as uh, when you press the light flash button. Okay, so uh, then we get to air conditioning. So you can turn the AC on from the app. Yep, you can hear the uh, AC going off. And it's 24 degrees inside the car. And there you go. Outside temp is 25. Uh, the flow is currently just to the face. Um, you can't change it from the app. You can change the AC temp though. You can go up or down. So you can't scroll this way, but you can uh, go up and down there. Um, you can. Is that seat heating? No, that's just for uh, increasing the temp to high, as high as possible. And then decreasing it to cool, I think. Okay, so that took a little while, but goes to cool. Oh, we can just change it back to what I had before, 24. I find the AC very um, 
very cool actually in the car. So if I have it on 22, which I normally have it in other cars, like 22 or 21, it actually gets a bit too cold, I've got to say. So I normally have it on 24, just as a compromise. Um, then you can turn off the AC from here as well. And you can schedule your time. So if I want to turn the car on at X time, um, today or tomorrow, and then you can have the temperature setting as well. Uh, here's a warm tip, AC can be scheduled to turn on within 24 hours only. Yep, that's quite evident. Uh, temperature settings, so you can switch to whatever temp you want to turn it on at. You can save that if you want to, and here are more settings. You can time to keep the AC on for this song, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, etc. So that's good, so, you know, uh, if you want to cool the car down for X amount of time, you can do that. And then you can either recirculate or have the uh, air entry there. Press OK. Okay, so that is air conditioning. Let's go back to the main screen. Doors and windows, so it gives you a notification of which doors are open, which doors are shut. So let's open one of these doors now. Let's see how responsive it is. Okay, keep that open. Okay, then you can pull down, refresh. There you go, the front door is now open and you get a notification straight away. Uh, if you refresh the app, and from experience, it's actually quite responsive. Within probably a minute, that notification will come up. And luckily, it correlates to the correct door. So left door open, left door open. Uh, rear trunk, front hood as well, and get notifications, and windows as well. And from here, you can also uh, uh, wind the windows up remotely too, if they are open for some reason. Okay, I might shut the door. Okay, so back to the front page. So we've got um, seats. You can uh, heat and ventilate the seats ahead of time from the app. Uh, and you see how when I shut the door, um, the notification has gone. So within like 30 seconds, it's gone back to normal. And tire pressure, you can see from the app. Um, and even though my front tire pressure is lower than the rear tire pressure, they don't mind. It says normal tire pressure. And then services. Um, yeah, this one probably needs a bit more work because it's just literally showing my location like that. I mean, yes, I'm in the north of Sydney, everyone knows that. It probably needs a bit more sophistication uh, or at least maybe some way to transfer this data across to Google Maps. Uh, so hopefully that's in development over time. All right, well, that is the BYD app. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic compared to, say, the Tesla app, which I have for our Tesla Model Y. So here's the Tesla app here. And I've got to say, actually, just having a look between the Tesla app and the BYD app, sure, the Tesla app is a bit more sophisticated, but to be honest with you, day-to-day -day usage of the Tesla app really is pretty much confined only to lock-unlock, um, preconditioning the car. Um, I rarely use things like flashing, horning, uh, even the fart noise. Like, those things, they're great to have, but I rarely use them. You can also open the boot and the bonnet as well from the Tesla app, which is quite handy. Um, the BYD app does not allow you to do that. And of course, uh, looking at the live sentry cameras um, and also activating or deactivating sentry mode, those things are quite handy. But to be honest with you, I would say most of the functions that the BYD app is probably enough for a day-to-day -day driver uh, without the added sophistication of the Tesla app. So uh, I'm very interested to see uh, how many more functions and how much more refined the BYD app will be um, over the coming months with potential software updates to the app and to the car as well. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching a rundown of the BYD app for my BYD seal. Stay tuned for more BYD content coming up on the channel. Otherwise, have a great day and as always, happy charging.